Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 574. Winning candidate. The way we'll be solving this problem is by using uh, the inner join um, and then group by. So anytime like any sort of counting is involved, you can safely assume that there's like a group by that you can use. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is actually just care about the columns, right? So the only uh, column that we care about is the name. And we bring that from the table candidate. And let's uh, alias that to C. And then you want to join that um, with the table vote. And let's name that to V on um, C.ID is equal to V.candidate candidate ID. So what does this look like? So let's just try running it. Oh wait, let's just say, yeah. For now, if we select all of it and then we join it, the result that we get is, okay, so we have um, the ID, uh, both the IDs from both the tables uh, and then the candidate um, ID and the name. Uh, we don't so much care about like these two columns. So the only thing that we care about is the name. And, uh, the next thing that we need to do is uh, get the the count like the candidate ID right. So we group by uh, v dot candidate ID, and then um, you order them. Let's order by count, right? And when you do count or uh, any sort of uh, sorting or um, ordering, it usually takes descending order. So we need to specify when it's descending. And the only thing that we need to do in the end is because we are ordering it by the descending order, we just need to limit it by one. So basically it says, okay, take the max, the, the candidate that has the maximum amount of votes and just print out the name for that. Let's try compiling this. So the first test case is okay. Everything else is okay as well. Awesome. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I would really appreciate that. It keeps me motivated to make more videos. Thanks so much, and I'll see you folks soon. Peace.